The other day when I posted a video about how the cruise control works and how you set it up and use it on the DJI Mini 4 Pro, I got a question in the comment field. What's gonna happen if you lose the connection between the remote and the drone when you are in cruise control? I thought it was a great question. I really want to try it out to see what's actually gonna happen if I turn off the remote whenever we are in cruise control. So let's bring the drone up into the air so we can see what's gonna happen. And if you would like to see how to use the cruise control of the DJI Mini 4 Pro, well, check the video that I've linked in the description box below so you can see exactly how to set it up and how to use it. And if you would like to see how well the precision landing works so we know that we get the drone back, I have a video for that also that I've linked to down there. So now let's put the drone into cruise control Let's put it on cinematic mode so it doesn't go so fast. And now let's see where are we gonna fly it. Let's fly it straight into the woods over there. Just see what's gonna happen whenever we lose connection between the drone and remote. And hopefully it won't crash when it gets into all those trees there because that would be really sad. So let's put forward slowly and then we enable the cruise control. Now we are in cruise control and what's gonna happen if we're gonna turn off the remote? The drone stops! The drone stops! Okay, and what? No! What's gonna happen? The drone. The drone is landing! And cutting some grass at the same time. So I wonder if that is a return to home procedure that is initiated. And I have a video about how the return to home works and why it's actually landed there and instead of flying back. And you can check that video also later on if you want to. So let me fly a little bit further away and then disconnect my remote so we can see what's happening. So I think it's actually the return to home procedure that is initiated also when you are in cruise control and that stops. So it's not like it's just hovering in the air. Then if you want to hover in the air, then you have to set the signal lost return to home setting to hover instead of return to home. So let's just try that again so we can see how well that works. So let's go forward and initiate the cruise control. The cruise control is activated. Let's just go forward as much as we need it to so the return to home will actually let the drone fly back home instead of land. And one good thing that I actually didn't mention in my cruise control video is that the cruise control has fixed the drone in this direction. So if I now fly backwards, the drone fly backwards, but if I haven't disconnected the cruise control, so when I let go, the drone will continue in the speed and direction that it had in the cruise control setting, which is really, really cool. So now I can just change it to fly that direction and then it continue flying that direction. If I fly to the right and let go, it's gonna continue fly just straight forward. So now we are far enough. So let's turn off the remote again. Drone is turned off. The drone is heading towards us and it's flying back. So if we don't crash into the tree here. Okay, now we are close to the tree. So if we are in cruise control mode and the signal is lost, the return to home will be initiated and the drone will come back or do whatever you have set in the return to home setting in the app. And it's always really important to have the setting you need and want in that setting. So now it's time to see each other in that video instead. So uh, see you in that one. Bye.